Okay. Uh, we had a league yesterday, and uh, Sunday's a nice day out for the family. So we had paradise. The water is low, so we can't see too much. It was a bit more light just now, and uh, we could see there's some color pushing in here in the back of Raggy Hall. This color that's going to push in. Not sure where to go. It was a bit of a mission with a trolley down the steps here. Um, not a lot of areas lend itself to actually bring a trolley over. Um, we made it work. <laughs> <coughs> so, got two choices. Stormgat, Barracuda Reef, this area. Or we're going to make our way around. Fish on the other side of Raggy Hole next to that reef. Look for some edibles. And then work our way back to Raggy Hole maybe on a push, on a bit further into the push. Not sure. The wind is quite cold because it's coming over the sea so there's cold water. Uh, but these clouds are quite heavy. I saw this morning when we got up there was quite a bit of rain through the night. The cars were wet wet but the, the driveway wasn't too wet so we might get a quick splash, get wet properly and then take it from there. A broader variety of bait, it's not really some species we, we're targeting. There's always a chance of punsies here, the cob, uh, shad, um, raggy on the higher water, maybe a smooth hound, maybe a spotty. So I think I would opt for that because we normally fish this side. I think we must go that side of it. We've got the trolley here and I'm sure Mila can walk. trolley is designed that whichever way you go you put your bait box on this side because I want to make baits while I'm facing the sea in my water bucket here as you might have seen in videos and this takes off so the whole trailer folds up by as nicely this size and just the size of the frame the wheels take off and everything all up Boom. so you can fit three four in the back of the bucket that was the whole idea of this trolley design we did and uh, yeah we hope to have some available soon but uh, Send us a mail to shop at asfn.co.za should you be interested in uh, one of these trolleys and we can start creating a bit of a, uh, a line for people that's interested and leave us uh, your number so we can contact you. Check now, we're quickly showing the video of how quickly it is to set up. very very simple and that was the whole concept for traveling because it's always difficult to take trolleys to destinations you want to go and this puts up so quick and uh, yeah you can fit four rods and why I say four only is otherwise they hit each other um, so you've got that now I'm gonna put my bait box where it should be and if the wind blows your trolley will blow away so you always bring your long sand spikes with that you can use as an anchor should it be necessary you just push it in and your trolley won't go away very simple mommy's road first Caroline wants to fish today so come mommy I told you it's going to be cold you see you must always listen to the old guy it's going to be cold I've got a shirt here I've got a jacket here it's a beautiful morning it's a pity we didn't make it out at six to show you guys um, Mila got up early, mommy didn't. <laughs> <laughs> now this is a nice Saltist 11.6 ultra light. Now this year, this 12, 12 foot 6, this rod here came out oh, years ago. 
uh, I want to say 10, 12 years ago and way ahead of its time. If this wasn't a 14 foot 6 or a 15 with this diameter at the base, this would have led the market for quite some time because of how light this rod is and uh, how thin the diameter. And this is paired with a Saragosa 10,000. It's actually one of my Hallyun outfits I use. It's really nice for scratching bluefish Hallyun with a 12 foot 6 rod. Lovely, lovely rod still. Okay, that's mommy's rod for today. Then I've got my championship six here, salt is 14,000. Now if you want to make a six or a five, a championship, assassin championship, six or a five, the lightest outfit you've used, just put a salt is 14,000 on. They are so light. Look, Saragoza, very good value for money. Same price class more or less. This reel is phenomenal and so light for you don't feel it. You want to fish with it all day long. With these and I'm, I'm quite keen to get a 10,000 as well to see how that fits with my with my uh, five horizon five the championship and then obviously on the eight which I'm going to throw quickly a bit of a uh, raggy bait the uh, water's not nicely colored but I'm just for who knows I'll we'll put a nice raggy bait out we might hook a black skate or something um, I didn't bring a yellowtail head I've still got the body from yesterday in my bait box so I'll make it out of the body this is my Saltiga 18,000, 30 pound J braid and the Championship 8. That's my heavier outfit that got that nice bronzy for me. You guys might have seen the show a short while ago. Let's get fishing! Nice thing about fishing on Sundays is you can take your time. <laughs> Being the rest day. Oh, I want to see if Perlis still remembers that. I didn't show you when she got dressed now. That's why I switched the camera off rather, because uh, it would look funny. My face. I haven't caught a reggae in a while. It was November last year. Four, four five months ago, it wasn't even big. But. Uh, Love a raggy over a hundred kilos again. Oh wow! Okay. That's phenomenal. What? <laughs> you can't hide from it. It's gonna find you. <laughs> That's brilliant. Some of our new technology going here. Yeah? The camera is following me whatever I do. So if I go there, and if I go here, and I'll go up, further away, it does all, all by itself. It's amazing. Well done, well done. Okay, mommy, we need to make you a trace. A uh, small circle. Marie said she wanted to use a mustard circle one She chose her own hook. Six as he got to tie a hook. I'm just gonna do a knotless knot for her. With the smaller hooks, I prefer at least eight times. And sometimes it can be very hard. And then I go buy sinkers for Caroline's rod and I forget them in the car.
have to run back to the car. I suspect you want to do a, a mommy wants to do or Caroline wants to do a blob bite. There's the knife, there's the hammer. When you hit the chocker on the side, yeah, it's much better results. You can see where I normally hit it. <laughs> Sinker. Do three ounce. Just my little loop. So easy. Straight forward. Nothing fancy. There you go. Now what works for me <coughs> when I do when I bait up, I've got that side or this side to put it in. Even that side. But I just drop my sinker in the bucket and then I've got my hook right there and I can uh, bait it up. So I don't know. You're gonna, is Caroline gonna do her own bait? Are yeah, you? that's my okay. bait. Nice. I'm okay. gonna quickly cast this in, leave it in the pipe and see if we can get some something with teeth that's interested. I only used the head yesterday and I chucked it away, I should have. But uh, Reggie's like uh, yellow tail. Not that we can find any really decent yellow tile anywhere. It's all quite uh, quite a bit of freezer burn on most. <laughs> you can go catch them on ice cream fishing charters. Yeah, yeah. Soon we'll be uh, catching them off the boat to get the boat. Yeah. Now on the beach we found this young reggie, which obviously some social, edible anglers left to die. This unfortunately still happens in our country. The easiest way to dispose of this is to cut it up in a few key areas to let the blood come out and then put it back in the water, which in turn will attract other sharks to dispose of it quicker. Instead of it washing up and down in the surf and potentially injuring a child or a swimmer. Now in this process, of cutting the main veins in the mouth. My hand slipped ever so slightly and ended up with a huge gash. These teeth are very sharp. Cut my hand there with that ready. is open. That's why it's bleeding so much. Thumb, thumb, thumb. On the way to the doctor now to get some stitches. I reckon about three or four. But uh, at least we managed to stop the bleeding thanks to kind of flex stretches. Still had one on uh, Caroline's rod, a short one. So Caroline gave me a top, we cut a top off. We wrapped it around quite tight. And then we took the stretch here and pop. And uh, now again, we didn't film when she took a top off. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> so we're on our way to the doctor and as it always happens, it's on Sunday. So it's ka-ching, ka-ching. Um, but yeah. Rather get some stitches in so I can fish without uh, the disability of a posable thumb. Here we go.
please like and share this video as that really helps our algorithms also make sure to subscribe to our channel hit the bell notification button to be notified every time we upload a video